We talked to Mike Pennington yes. about the whole consumer line and then kind of this like bridge into now we're slightly the pro. Profe professional. Now we're stepping up to pro. Pro, pro. Pro, pro. And I think, I mean, give us an overview of the line you, and tell us all about it. I was going to jump the gun and be like, well, everyone's yeah. going to talk about the paint coating, but I don't want to jump the gun because I want to hear about the whole line. Oh, okay. So let's start with the paint coat. <laughs> <laughs> I no, mean, we totally can. Let's, 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 hold, let's hold that one. Let's okay. Hold. Let's, uh, how do I want to go? Get, let's start with like where, why did, um, what was like the thought? So after seeing the last year, you guys launched 210, 110, right? right? right. And then what else in the, the Iron Decon? The, uh, D1801. Yep. And right. then what else in the professional line? Was that it for the professional line? Uh, those, those were the biggies last year. Okay. Yeah, prior to that, right, we had the D166. Right. Uh, and then we had uh, the the Citrus Power Cleaner, right? right? That, okay. that came out kind of mid-year. Got it. Last year, okay. along with the uh, the wash and wax. Got it. Right. The so I'm trying to think, like, when you when you guys are in the meetings talking about, okay, what do we want to launch for the Pro Line at SEMA next year? Like, obviously, it probably starts all over the board. But as you start to narrow it down, like, what does that look like? Well, you know, a lot of it's looking at the market and what's what's maybe missing or what sometimes it's what other people are doing but we think maybe they're not doing it all that great okay um, and, and sometimes you know we, we have kind of this double-edged sword of um, being under 3m the Got cool it. thing about 3m when you talk about an ethical company it's absolutely amazing how ethical this organization is Cover those ethics can almost get in the way sometimes. Got it. There, there's certain things like that, stop being so honest. Well, well part, no, because part of the part of the issue is if you're a little itty bitty tiny company, you can you fly under the radar. Right. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff. Right. Yep. Uh, 3M's kind of the opposite of right. that. And um, so it, there's certain things. I mean, we you know you get a real good chemist, you can do almost anything. Right. Uh, can you do it under regulatory that, that's permitted, or can you do it? To a price point that people right. would pay for, like if you could come up with a wheel cleaner that you know would like just literally fix everything, but it was three hundred and eighty dollars right. a bottle, right. nobody would buy it. Right? We say, oh, somebody finally did it, but boom, you can't do it. Totally. So, so when we we're trying to figure out what products we're looking at doing, what what you know niche we might want to fill, or what we we might want to address that's better or beyond, or what does maybe technology offer that's going to let us do something a little different? All these things come into play. Um, and a bunch of different ideas come out. And, and sometimes we, we come up with an idea of a product and we think, yeah, maybe this isn't really the time to do it. Too and early. We step back or from it. Too late. Or... And then somebody else ends up doing it. Got it. And then it fails miserably in the marketplace. Oh. And at first we're like, oh man, we missed it. And then maybe six months like, later we're like, hey, good thing we didn't do it, right? Right. So sometimes it's a bit of a roll of the dice, whatever. But in the in the coating market, you know, people have been begging us to come out with the coating for, for years. Which McGuire's has in other countries, correct? Or we no? have for, for quite a while, okay. actually, in other countries. Um, and coatings, really, when you look at the, the early development of them, it was really all about protection from acid rain because in Asia, where coatings were developed, right. I mean, especially you get into parts of China and India, and the air quality is so bad. Remember they used to do the smog alert right. days in LA? I don't remember, but... Because you're too young. Yeah. I don't remember either because I didn't live there back then. I was <laughs> still it. back in Michigan. But my but, mom tells me stories of that where they literally couldn't go out. Yeah. Couldn't but, go out of the house. But they never had to turn on their headlights at 2 o'clock in the afternoon to see where they were going. That's how bad the air quality can be in parts of Asia. Because industry has just exploded and right. regulation <laughs> virtually nil. Right. So it was all really about acid rain protection from that. Okay. That's where all this stuff basically all, all came to be. Now, you know that um, coating's obviously just been going crazy in the U.S. market right. for, for the last five, seven years. We also know there's a lot of claims, quite often made by the detailers, sorry to say, <laughs> that, that are perhaps less than accurate. Maybe would you say a little it's the detailers overstated. or would you say it's the brands, those uh, some, smaller brands that you're talking about? Uh, you know, sometimes it's sometimes it's both. And, and I'm not slamming coatings because I mean, right. we all know there's some But, but maybe some detailers get overzealous with what they want to overpromise. Well, and, and, you know, detailers aren't necessarily trained as business people. Totally. Right? Yep. I mean, you can be the best doctor, the best attorney, the best dentist, the best whatever but matter. but you still have to be able to run a business yep. and there's a lot of layers and whatnot that totally. goes in. Same thing with a detailer or a gardener or whatever. 100%. Right? So 
Do they get a little overzealous? I think maybe that's probably a pretty good yep. way to, to, to state it. And um, so we, McGuire's has a history of being really, really proud of what we put on the back label that says what the product will do, the product actually, actually does, does it. it. Okay. Imagine that so, concept. <laughs> so with a lot of the new products that, that uh, Pennington talked to you about and yep. the other products they're going to talk to you about here on the pro side, we're all about the science and not the hype. Got it. Okay. So with the coating, we didn't want to play in this arena of, you know, your car's not going to get scratched, it's not going to get water spots, it's not going to get this one. We all know they happens. still get that. How many detailers today yep. are interviewing their customers before applying a coating to make sure yep. the customer's going to maintain the car properly? Okay, coating? Coatings have, I mean, are they thicker than wax? Are they more durable than wax? Will they protect better than wax? Sure they will. Right. Sure they will. But are they the be all end all? Not necessarily. Right. No. So, are they really fun and easy to apply? But I don't know what you're Getting there. Getting there. <laughs> what if not what if, traditionally? What if we could provide a true SIO2 foundation ceramic coating okay. that was about as easy to apply as a synthetic polymer wax? Yeah, it'd be amazing. I, I, That's amazing then. Got it. Okay. So the, the applicator that we have with this is a proprietary applicator. Uh, there's a moisture barrier behind that little fuzzy okay. applicator face on there. So the foam's not soaking up half of your product. Right. Okay. Uh, it, it almost feels like a microfiber, but they tell me technically it's not. I don't know what the heck it is, but it's, it's kind of cool. <laughs> it's a block. Okay. So um, the, the idea here, obviously, you know, you're putting several drops of product on right. on the face of this pad, like you like you do with any other coating. Um, I think we're actually going to, on this pad, which is a bit larger than what you're probably used to seeing, uh, we're looking at probably 24 drops to okay. prime that pad. Okay. And then we want a little bit of pressure down on that pad as you're doing yeah. the typical straight line back and forth okay. and cross then cross hatch, hatch right? Yeah. But here's where it gets a little funky. Right, do that in your typical 18 inch to two foot square area. Right. And then just keep doing those two foot square areas in a patchwork until you've covered like the entire hood of the car. Okay. And then wipe it off? Or maybe do a fender after that and then wipe off the hood. And then do a door and then wipe off the fender. Got it. Okay. High spots are basically a thing of the past. With Got this. it. Okay. You can, you can, 15 minutes seems to be a really good amount of time to okay. let it sit and, and do its, its kind of, you know, attachment to the paint, so right. to speak. Um, a lot of other coatings on the market, right? If you wipe them off too early, you pretty much wipe everything away. That's going to be the same with, with 788. Okay. Got it. You don't want to, it's not a wipe on and immediately wipe off. Okay. But those other coatings, if you leave them on too long, you're screwed. Well, exactly. Right. Well, you right. got high Maybe spots. A better that, word, but, but right. you, you bust out the buffer and you have to compound out your high spots, right? right. With this, you could probably let it sit on there for 45 minutes to an hour, and it'll still wipe off. However, I take a little the sweet. No, actually, it won't. Really? No. But weirdly, the sweet spot for performance is about a 15 minute wait before you wipe it off. So what do you lose, how do you lose performance when you let it stay on there longer? Um, that's a good question. Got it. That's a good question. Um, because my thought is like, well maybe, if, especially if this is a pro coating, this is a huge time saver, right? Oh, it's a because, big time saver. Because if it does have that much work time, maybe you could do half a car, right? And then come back we, we are going to have a um, an SOP written up for this, Standard Operating okay. Procedure, right? That's going to have our recommendations. But we know detailers, right. and somebody we is going to... We follow directions most times. Well, you, you, you like to experiment. We like... I should say we, because I, I, yeah. I yeah. consider myself a detailer. Yeah. Uh, and someone is going to apply it to the entire car to try to save some time. Not a good idea. You know what? It's It may well work. Okay, what if Just you're fine. out of direct sunlight? No, that's not a good idea. Come on. Come on. No, when the car is just baking in the sun. But uh, let's put it this way. You're applying it, and you right. take a phone call. Right. And the phone call goes a little bit longer, and you're like, oh. Got it. Jeez, old pizza. There's more this give stuff. in the. There's so much right. leeway, and this will blow your mind. Got it. Okay. And what's the durability, or what is it? We, we do what? give up some of the long-term durability to sure. give you this ridiculously easy application. Okay. Okay. Um, Nine months or so, depending on how it's maintained okay. and exposure and all that kind of thing. But we have a great 
maintenance product to go with that. That's say, the yeah. M799, okay. which is a SiO2 ceramic foundational build spray sealant. That, so think D156, okay. synthetic yep. express spray yeah. wax. Yep. So you want a clean, dry car okay. to spray it on. Spray it onto a towel and wipe it on. Yep. Okay. Okay. As a ceramic sealant, okay. or as a maintenance booster to the 788. How does it differ from the hybrid ceramic wax? The consumer blue stuff. Yep. You don't spread it with water. You spread it with a towel and flip it and dry it. You Got don't. It. Okay. You don't have to pressure wash the car down when okay. you're using it. Got it. You can also dilute it one to three. Interesting. And that's one part water, three parts product. Okay. Which is a little backwards from what you're used to seeing yes. with stuff okay. that's usually like, you know, like when you dilute APC ten right. to one, it's ten parts water, one part Got product. It. Okay. This is one to three, one part water, three parts product. So it's mostly product. Right. Okay. But it you can then diluted. use that as a quick detailer. You can use that as a clay loop. You can okay. use that as a drying agent when after you wash your car. Okay. Use it full strength. It's a supplement, a maintenance product for the 788. But also as a standalone product. Or it's a standalone if you just want. If you're using like uh, D156 as a standalone right. spray wax right now. Yeah. You That's could a good upgrade, so to upgrade. speak, because you'll get the insane water beater with the really tight contact angles, okay. just like you do with the coating. Got it. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna be so busy. It's this is this is stuff. really really cool stuff. <laughs> Got it. This is cool stuff. Yeah. What? Go it's back called to the, bead booster. Bead booster. Yes. Also M799. M799 Pro Hybrid Ceramic Bead Booster. Any idea on price point for the gallon of that? Sorry, I, I know. I'm no, good at I know. Questions. I know. We'll 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 edit I'm it. I'm really good at, bad at asking questions. I'll, I'll throw out. I I don't I don't I okay. don't know the price. No, it's not a big of, deal. But I, I I teach people how to use it. I don't. It's probably economical though, considering especially uh, when you it's, guys. It's going to be competitively priced. I guarantee. Got it. Similar to what Iron Decon was last year at seventy nine or eighty bucks a gallon or whatever. Yeah, like, I don't think it's, it's not yeah, going to be eighty, but I don't know. Similar to how that was positioned. Now, now you're throwing out numbers and you're confusing people. Whatever. All right. Okay. Anyway, Shall edit we, that out. Okay. So not going, not going to happen. But whatever. so that that's a great kind okay. of follow up to the M788, and it should yep. be noted that M788 yep. includes a 50 mil bottle of the product. Okay. This proprietary applicator that's actually really cool. Okay. A pair of do you see these these yeah. McGuire's logo that, gloves? You guys here? posted these on Instagram. Yeah, like grab, everyone grab, freaked out about grab them. Grab yourself a couple pairs of okay. those, buddy. Those are those are my how, gift to you. No, I said a couple oh, pairs, couple, couple. not a couple of handfuls. Man. You guys, you can't see this, but you literally grabbed the stack. Yeah, and, yeah. I did. Um, hey, it also comes do. with a six ounce bottle of M122 surface prep. Okay. Is what that is a that? wax and no. grease only remover? Ooh, wax and grease only remover. No. Because all these other preps say, oh, we remove everything. And then when you test it, it doesn't even remove anything. Yeah, so that's why we tested those and went, we have to be better than this. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, so we, let me, let me, let me tell you how this works. Okay. Or how, how I envision how this kind of stuff works okay. when we're not first to market. Okay. Enzo Ferrari, back in the day, he, he was resistant. Can I can I do a tangent? How Go excited ahead. are you for the movie, what is it, Ford? Ford versus Ferrari? Yes. Really you excited because a friend of mine has rented out a movie theater. No way. And he's invited myself and my girlfriend, Got and it. Barry McGuire and his wife, Karen, and, and uh, Wait, what? Mike and Aunt, <laughs> Aunt Mike Brewer and Ant Anstead from okay. Real Dealers are going to be hanging out with Got us. We, we see those guys quite a bit. Seems so they're, they're going to be hanging sorry with us. Sorry for the tangent, and, but it just made me think of that. I want to bring my Alfa Romeo because I'm, I'm <laughs> rooting for, I'm still rooting for the right, Italians right, in this right, thing. Right, I know they right. lose, but um, they lose eventually, but right. they, they still won more times than Ford did. Anyways, how did we get on to this? Okay, I, it was oh, I know a how. tangent. I know how. So yeah. we're not first to market with this. Got it. Enzo Ferrari resisted disc brakes until. Um, until Jaguar started killing him at, at uh, Le Mans. Okay. Enzo Ferrari resisted going mid-engine right. in Formula One because, to, to his mind, the horse pulls the car, it doesn't push it. Got it. So when those rear-engine cars, I mean, when the rear-engine cars started dominating the front-engine cars, Enzo very reluctantly gave in. And all the rest of Formula One said, so he's late to the party, it's going to take him three years to catch up, that means we get to decide who's going to win because it's not going to be Ferrari. He shows up with his first rear engine car and he wins the world championship with Phil Hill in 1961. So we are a little bit of Ferrari when we come a little bit late to the party, but we make the better product. 
that's a really bold statement. Uh, yeah. I think you made I it. may have been patting myself on the <laughs> yeah, back when I did that. That was good. I liked it. M122 is pretty fantastic stuff to remove compound and polishing oils even while you're in that compounding process okay. to check your work. You're working on really uh, finicky paint. Okay. You're getting micro marring, ticking, and it's driving you nuts. Right. You want to make sure that's gone. Make sure there's no compound or polish residue on there. That will remove that very effectively okay. in that process. And then to wipe down the vehicle as a final panel prep before you apply a coating, it will pull all that stuff off. It is not a substitute for a prep solve in a body shop okay. during the painting process. Got it. it will not swell the paint. You can leave it on for a while without worrying about swelling the paint. Okay. It's an incredibly safe product. I'm not going to tell you what's in it because I want to keep my job. Right. Uh, but, but if you when, have a when you use it, you'll you'll love it. Really easy wipe off. Okay. No streaking, no smearing. It's fantastic. If, you have, to use. if you're not going to compound and polish before putting down a coating, which who would ever do that? It's probably been done before. Right. If, but could you go from like if you don't know what's on the surface? Can you use that before laying down the coating? I, I would do it. Yeah, and if you've okay. got if you've got wax that you you know put on your car five six months ago right. and we know the reality is there's hardly anything left. Right. That'll take off the last. Got it. Okay, the last okay. little bit. Yes. But it probably wouldn't break down like a bead booster or a hybrid ceramic. If you've wax. got a fresh coat of hybrid ceramic wax on there and you spray that on, no, that stuff's okay. too durable. Got it. Yeah. Okay. On a fresh coat, it, it won't take okay. it right off. Cool. No. Got it. No. So you got that. You want to do that before the paint. Uh, to touch on the coating real quick. Sure. That is going to be anyone can buy it. It's not going to be like restricted you by do territory not, or anything. You do not have to be a certified trained. What? It's so easy. Okay. To use. Got it. So it's going to be sold through, you know, typical pro kind of channels, the the online detailing supply places and Amazon and things like that. You will not find this at Walmart. But it will be on Amazon. It, it, it should be on Amazon. Got I'm pretty it. sure it's going to be on. Okay. If I've misspoken, I apologize. But <laughs> no, I'm, that's I'm, great news. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find it on Amazon. Easy to get. So the, the 122 yeah. by the gallon. I think it's. I think this one. I do know the price on forty dollars for the gallon. Did you talk about the price on the coating? The coating uh, yeah. MSRP is seventy nine ninety nine. Okay. Yes. And that bottle will probably do. This bottle will do at cars? least two coats on a full okay. car. Got it. On a full size car. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. At least two coats, at if least. not more. Okay. Yeah. And what's really nice is since it's so easy to apply. It's almost like a coating that you can repair. Got it. So if you end up with, you park next to a, a municipal sprinkler and it hits one side of the car, and oh my gosh, I've got a coating on the car. It's right. going to be a nightmare. It's going to be such a pain. It's no big deal to just touch it up. You can, if you got swirls and scratches down one side because you parked next to the shrubbery at your friend's house, and right? whatever, you can compound out that side of the car, reapply the coating, absolute piece of cake. You can have your kid reapply the coating. It's so easy to apply so obviously this wouldn't be recommended and it's not endorsed to do it this way could you do it outside um carport yeah if it's not a windy day and okay. really dusty okay you know but you're going to have that that dust mitigation that dust control you're always going to have yeah. i mean would you i wouldn't even apply a good carnauba wax in a windy True. dusty environment no yeah 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 that makes yeah. sense. So you, you knew your question was... Well, I wasn't thinking worst <laughs> case. I wasn't thinking like, okay, like tornado <laughs> outside involved, yeah. or the Santa yeah. Ana's, right? Yeah. But I was thinking like yeah. the average person yeah. living in an apartment, have a carport, want to put yeah. a coating on their car. I know yeah. it's not ideal, but if the day is pretty decent... If it's if it's a, and if there it's, maybe if it's a nice weather day and there's no it. wind and it's not a dusty environment, you can probably get away with it, it. But not there's, ideal. There's so many caveats in I there, know, and I know. Yeah, it's a judgment call. <laughs> it's a judgment. Somebody might look at it, yes, it's fine, and somebody else is like, you're a lunatic for even thinking about it, Jimbo. I always need to clarify stuff like that because it's like the <laughs> ultimate all-wheel cleaner. I got hounded because it couldn't be used on paint. Yeah. People said it couldn't be, and then yeah. I had to verify with you last year. Yeah. And you were right. like, yeah, it's yeah. not ideal, but it's but fine. Again, yeah, it works. Yeah, yeah. But that, that one was not ideal because of its delivery system and its consistency. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. true. Yeah. Okay, where are we here? Uh, we, we keep, the we keep sealant. So we talked about the bead booster, we talked about the coating, service prep, and then yes. the sealant. And the sealant. Okay, so M27 um, Pro Hybrid Ceramic Sealant. <laughs> Why are you looking at it like, hmm? Because that's a, what such is a long name. <laughs> what is, no, oh, no, I'll tell you what this stuff is. Again, SiO2 Ceramic base okay. okay we're not we're not just adding sio2 into right. something as an ingredient to say there's sio2 this is the building block it's the foundation upon which the entire product is built okay, okay. 
you, you know that SiO2 can be found in food items. Right. Yeah. Have you ever have you ever read the, yeah, the, yeah. the ingredients Silica on non-dairy coffee creamer? Silicon dioxide. Yep. It's used as an anti-caking agent. Got if it. you've got powdered spices at home, you're eating SiO2. It's <laughs> it, it can be an incredible. Well, sick. isn't silica, silicone, silicon dioxide one of the most like used ingredients? It's like, one of the most. The it's one of the most common substances found out. Right. Most Got commonly it. in quartz and beach sand. Got it. Right. So you can do an awful lot with it. By the way, if you take silicon dioxide and you melt it and you pour it out onto a flat surface and you flash cool it, you know what you get? Glass. Glass. That's right. And glass is naturally hydrophilic. Right. So why is all this SiO2 stuff hydrophobic? All the other stuff added to it, right? Thank you. It's the building block that lets us do really cool stuff Got because it. of how that foundation behaves. Which is maybe, okay. And that foundation gives you a lot more attachment points to the paint so that it, it holds onto the paint more tenaciously. Right. It's resistant to like an exfoliating rub. It doesn't abrade off as easily okay. as <laughs> polymer sealants do. And it tends to lay down, especially with a coating, it lays down a lot thicker than right. a wax does. Got it. If it holds on to the paint better, there's more of it, and it's more resistant to abrasion, of course it lasts longer. Right. I, I just had like an epiphany as you were talking. Thank you. Because I'm like, because in my torture test, right, a yeah. like the first thing to go is always the hydrophobic properties, yeah. usually in any yeah. product, right? But then the products that last the longest always sheet forever. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense if there's if it's the building block or the foundational product, right. that's what's going to be holding on last. Right. Is its natural characteristic yeah. and, of the product. And the, right? the, the the surface tension can change over time, right. and you can still have product on the paint. Right. Hundred percent. Yeah. Right. Right. I'm not that smart, Mike. It was just. Yes, you are. <laughs> I've seen your videos. No, you're we're, fine. we're getting out of my depth here. We're no, bringing it back in. No, no, Save no. me. But but that's that's. Kind of really what's, what's going it. on there. So okay. with M27, um, I want to clarify, first of all, this is not hybrid ceramic I, wax from the consumer that's side. That's what I was going to ask. I knew you were going like to. to me, I can read like, your mind. Thank you. Can you pick the lottery numbers tonight? I, I was going to say, wish. it looked to me like that is just a professional version. version of even like the hybrid ceramic detailer with the bead booster, the ceramic wax with the sealant. Ah. It looked like it was just like, this is the consumer, that's the, the professional. The 799 bead booster. Yeah. Right, remember you can use it full strength or you can dilute it one to three. Right. Diluted one to three, it is basically the consumer okay. ceramic detail. Got it, okay. But M27, the ceramic sealant, is a completely different formulation than the consumer hybrid ceramic wax. Okay. Okay. Uh, everybody listening heard that. Yes. And understood it. Yes. Okay. I'll timestamp it. The consumer ceramic detailer is essentially the 799 bead booster diluted one to three. Got it. But the M27 Pro sealant, Pro ceramic sealant, is a completely different product than the consumer ceramic wax. Got it. Okay. How so? How so? Uh, first of all, there is no wax in it, and there actually is a little bit of wax okay. in the consumer product. Uh, this has more, it's got a, almost a, ah, trying to figure out what parts that I can <laughs> tell you, what parts, what parts will cost me my job. Sure, yeah. um, the, the hybrid ceramic wax on the consumer side is really all about the intense water beading. Okay. If you are a consumer that's looking to take care of your car yourself, when you're shopping at big box retail, and you want the darkness, and you want um, the the gloss, you're probably gonna stick with Ultimate. Okay. okay. In the pro space, this product is about darkening and gloss. And it's when you it's say darkening, like, do you mean any filling? No. Okay. It will it will I didn't mean the, that in the, a bad way, the, by no, the way. No, I know, I know, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. The darkening is pretty spectacular, but the gloss is off the charts. Okay. I I applied this to one of my cars, it's just like weekend use, so the paint's like darn near perfect. Your TDI? I used the, hmm? Your TDI? No, that's my daily driver. Oh. That's no, that's my, my Crossfire Roadster. I know, I love that too, yeah. but that's not a weekend toy. So anyways, I stripped off uh, whatever had been on it for a long time with 122, and I didn't polish it because A, it didn't need it. I mean, it's yeah, my yeah. car. Right. And B, um, I didn't want anything to cloud my judgment. Right. I applied 27 what, to the whole car with a DA, wiped it off, and I was like, stunned with the gloss level wow. on this car. It's crazy, the gloss level. 
on this car. I've had this car for 15 years. Right. I've never seen no displacers. Really? And I baby this. And does it normally, you get that super nice warm glow from like a Carnuba base it's, product? It, it, versus I, I don't a know, like, I don't know if they no? call it a warm glow. It's okay. like just gloss, just like boom, it. just okay. crazy. When you apply this, you can do it by DA to the entire car and then come back and wipe it off. But it self levels. So if you start applying on the hood and you come all the way around the car, you get back to the hood and you're like, did I forget to do this? We still want you to wipe it off. But you can barely see it. And if you think, oh man, I'm not putting enough on. So you start to load it on really heavy. It'll still wipe off really easy. Even after 15 or 20 minutes of sitting on the car. Incredibly forgiving to use. It's absolutely beautiful on the paint. The water beating is ridiculous. The durability is better than anything we've ever had in the pro space. Really? Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's it's Try it out. this this is the one that just makes me. And is smile. there a cure time on that? Full cure after yeah, wipe off? Like twenty four. Pr- hours pretty typical. Yeah. Pretty okay. typical Got for it. anything like that. We're, and yeah. what's the full cure on the coating? Twenty four. Okay. Yeah. Pretty it's typical. Better than seven day. I mean. Pretty I, typical. I, I, got it. Yeah. So I asked Penny to this. I'll ask you too. Sure. Out of all, maybe the professional and the consumer. When you're doing your car, mm-hmm. what what's like? What do you you just find yourself reaching for? Like, what are you using? Oh, 27. When I get home, it's going on my Alpha. Got it. Okay. So that's like your hero, all-star product of the line. That's that's I'm, the one. I know that, you love all the, of them. I'm not asking. Well, you of to course pick your I favorite do. Baby, you know, but yes, you are. Kid, but I am. Yes, you are. <laughs> cool. So I'm 27. Yeah. Got it. 20, 27 is is it comes in a gallon. Is that a flip cap gallon? Or is that just for, for it's show? a I it's probably a flip cap. I mean, it's sitting on this one, but is that yeah. production? I Got don't it. Know. Yeah. Look We're cool. sitting here at SEMA, baby. This stuff hasn't. I know. It's the the <laughs> it's pro pro, the pro products won't launch until Q one of twenty. Got it. Okay. Yeah. I should ask that. Yeah. The, the consumer question. stuff is out in a couple of Almost weeks. Almost ready to go. Yeah. Right. right on. Right. I think. Yeah. And is the light new or no? Is that just oh a problem? how remiss am I? No. This. Is okay. that new? This is new. Okay. This is new. It was just sitting there. You I'm notice like, the that... McGuire's name on there. I do. Oh, okay. powered by a screen grip. Okay. Okay, screen, Got it. Scan. scan grip, sure. three plus. Okay. Okay. So, what are we doing here? Nice. I feel the heft of this thing, right? Oh, Typical wow. scan grip quality that yeah. everybody knows and loves. Right. Okay. All aluminum body. It's got the fold out foot with the magnet on it. Yep. Right. That I can't really yeah, I don't drop do the microphone, hand. but right. if you put this on a metal it'll base, stick. you can even Got angle it. it like that and it'll still stick. But this has the uh, the color temperature yep. range and the um, the light intensity range, right? The, yep. the lumen output. Yep. But you notice that's a linear change, okay? And the same thing with the color temperature. If I hold that button, it's not stepping through. It's uh, a linear change. And then if I turn it off and I turn it back on, it holds my last setting. Is that exclusive to McGuire's? This is exclusive to okay. McGuire's, powered by ScanGrip. Um, it's a pretty terrific light yeah. all around. The okay. MSRP on this is we're still finalizing it. Okay. It's not that much more than the standard scan grip handheld. Which is what? Like I think about 160 okay. or so. Got it. Okay. Um, two year warranty that's gonna be handled by scan grip, but uh, that those features are exclusive to this light with the McGuire's. It's got a great size too. It. it is a really, really comfortable size. It's unfortunate that this is a podcast and not, oh, it's not, gonna be a video oh, too. Oh, it's gonna be video too. Well, then yeah. it's it's cool that it's a video too. You didn't tell me it was gonna be a video. <laughs> Sorry. I could have tried to fix my hair to make it look good like yours, man. Surprise! Yeah. I just great. got here. You've been working. Great. No, that's fair. fine. I did a live. I did a Facebook live thing earlier today. Okay. They didn't tell me it was live. Oh God. I'm like, yeah, it's really Hopefully good today. Anything. Oh, this won't be going out right away. So if you did, okay. say you can anything. you can edit we this. We can one. edit it because I need editing. Anyways, this is. <laughs> this like, is. If you could just change this whole thing. This is. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have left my phone in my. No, it's Glasses too late now. We're already table. over. Yeah. We're probably over on time too. So good. do the rotation. There you go. That. It's yeah. a really good looking light, and that is a really good looking light. It's got the scan grip quality, so it's you know it's a fantastic piece. Is there anything that we didn't hit? I feel like we went over it really good, but is there anything you want to add? Anything we didn't hit? Uh, no, Mike covered all of that. Mike covered all this. I don't think we missed anything here. No, I think we're good. Awesome. M27 is so good, I feel like I should just drop the mic and walk out. <laughs> right, like just get M27. And, just you, get and, M27. You'll, and you'll be good. Okay. You'll be good to go. Thanks, Mike. I Thanks, appreciate Jimbo. it. Thanks, Jimbo. Likewise, man.